day is coming our way. It's the heat and humidity and the chance for severe thunderstorms. We are breaking it down in seconds. And an admitted murderer will be in court today to learn his fate. What to expect as Riley Berg is sentenced for killing a Navy veteran jogging in Blue Mountains. A thrilling comeback for the Bucks. All the highlights you might have missed last night, plus where we stand in the series. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on your Thursday. I'm Leah lynch -Eyde. I'm Chris Stanford. We might sound like a broken record this week because we have another alert day in the forecast with the chance that we could break the record high again today. We have broken records Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. Day, overnight, possibly today, and possibly Friday as well. Chris Reese has all of the details on just how hot it's going to be on our Thursday. Chris. Yeah, we have broken records from 2011, we've broken records from the 90s, and we've broken records from the 1800s. Now, a lot of those 1800 records that have fallen have been your overnight warm lows. It's never been this warm for an overnight low. I mean, we're at 75. That was the overnight low so far as we've gone throughout today. We'll see if that temperature drops just a bit. It's another scorcher of a day on tap, uh, or as someone once said, crispy. It's another crispy day on tap here across southern Wisconsin. 92 is my forecast high. The heat index will range from 95 to 100. Tomorrow, we add to the sizzle with a little bit of popcorn as some lightning of thunder is going to be expected with severe thunderstorms moving through into the afternoon. Speaking of thunderstorms, we've been tracking multiple different complexes moving through parts of the state. They've all generally remained to the north of Madison, but I'll tell you, if you paid attention to the weather across the Twin Cities yesterday, it was insane. This line of thunderstorms that moved on through. This is an 18-hour loop. You see the showers of thunderstorms that produce tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings, along with flash flooding, and now there's another thunderstorm. We're going to focus in on Madison, Minnesota, where this severe thunderstorm just moved through, now moving up towards Benson at this point. And come back to Madison, Wisconsin. It is dry and it is quiet, but it is hot. We are essentially building up the fuel for more showers of thunderstorms to move our way. 73 in Janesville right now, 73 from Monroe and Mineral Point. It is 78 in La Crosse. Two degrees away from 80, we are at 75 right here in Madison. The dew points are, are into the upper 60s. This is the air that just weighs you down. The humidity at 82%. You can see the humidity as you begin to look outside. That being said, 92 is where I expect our temperatures to top out this afternoon. And coming with it is going to be a heat index that feels like 100. So get used to that as we go throughout today. Later on tonight, Another round of showers of thunderstorms moving in from the north and west will start to die out, but I can't rule out a stray shower, especially farther to the north. Tomorrow, it's 90 into the afternoon. Here comes a line of showers of thunderstorms starting to develop to the west. That will be our best chance to see some stronger thunderstorms. It's the 630. That line of showers of thunderstorms will begin to weaken as it starts to move eastward as well. It'll be a little slow moving at times, too, as it starts to fight uh, some wind or lake breeze trying to come in from the east as well but still we're getting ready for severe weather and it's still hot in the meantime so what i want to make sure that you do is check the back seat cars heat up so quickly and a week and a half ago you were able to leave a pet or someone in the back seat for a short amount of time don't do that today i hope you haven't done that all week because it is incredibly hot out there and of course here are some of the things that you can do to help cool off your home if you feel like it's not getting cool enough make sure the ac vents are open or maybe you need to change the air filter to increase that airflow throughout your home. Sometimes it is thermostat settings or AC maintenance that is needed, but of course it is very important that you hydrate during this time. Water, water, water is going to help out when you are trying to beat the heat out there. And we do beat the heat. And the extended forecast, we go from 90s back down to the 60s for those high temperatures. Okay, Chris Reese, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. 603 happening today. 23-year-old Riley Berg will be sentenced for the murder of Navy veteran Nicholas Day back in 2020. Berg pleaded guilty back in February. Over two years ago, Berg brutally murdered Day while Day was jogging in the town of Blue Mounds. Berg suffers from schizophrenia, which his defense has used to prove that he was uh, not mentally fit to stand trial on two separate occasions. He now faces a mandatory life sentence for first-degree intentional homicide. The question is whether he'll be eligible, eligible for parole in the future. The county is now asking that he face at least 30 years. Be the first to know when we hear the court's decision on Riley Berg.
We will uh, push out those updates through our mobile app. You can download it right now if you don't have it. Just uh, head to your app store. Game five goes to the Bucks. Milwaukee pulled out a real close one last night against the Celtics in Boston. Oh yeah, let's go right to the fourth quarter. Bucks clawing back from being down all game. Bobby Portis finds Drew Holiday, steps back, hits a three to tie the game with just 42 seconds left. Then with 14 seconds to go, Bucks down one. Giannis misses that free throw, but Portis is there for the board and the putback to give Milwaukee the lead. Nobody came up bigger, though, than Drew Holiday in the final 10 seconds. Check this out. Getting a block that led to the Bucks up by three. And then that steal to truly seal the win for the Bucks. The final score, 110 to 107. They leave Boston with a 3-2 to two lead in the series. It's a big win. Um, that was the plan. The plan was to come here and to get a win. And... No matter if it was, we were up 20, no matter if we were down 20, uh, we wanted to leave here with the win. Eight teams left and you no know, four teams advanced. So, um, you know, everybody had a had a moment tonight and um, it was good that the Bucks came out on top. So get this, in NBA history, when a best of seven series is tied at two, the winner of the game five has gone on to win the series 82% of the time. We gotta love those odds, right? The Bucks heading back to Fiserv Forum tomorrow with the chance to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Tip off at 6.30, you can watch on ESPN. Looking ahead this morning, Madison City leaders are proposing a new study on potential Amtrak locations. The proposal was introduced Tuesday during the Common Council meeting. Expanding transit here in Madison has been a key issue for Mayor Man uh, Madison Mayor Sancho Rhodes Conway. If approved, the study will cost $120,000 and should be completed by early 2023. Out in D.C., Senator Tammy Baldwin is introducing a bill that would help protect health care workers. The Workplace Violence Prevention for Healthcare and Social Services Workers Act would require employers to create a violence protection plan. The U.S. Accountability Office found rates of violence against health care workers are 12 times higher than the overall workforce. It's time to protect our healthcare workers and their patients from violence and pass this overdue legislation. The bill has already passed the House with bipartisan support. Continuing coverage this morning, Republican investigator Michael Gableman will stay on the state's payroll. His investigation has been put on hold, though, until several lawsuits wrap up in court. Gableman signed a new contract with Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, but as part of the deal, he's going to take a pay cut instead of making $11,000 a month, he'll make $5,500. The contract and the investigation were supposed to end before May. A judge is ordering former President Trump to pay $110,000 in fines. A New York judge lifted a civil contempt finding against Trump yesterday, but it does come with conditions, including the payment of those fines and disclosing Trump organization policies about keeping and destroying documents. Trump was found in contempt for failing to turn in records and has been fined $10,000 a day since. The judge says he will reinstate the contempt finding if the former president fails to comply with the terms by May 20th. Lawmakers on the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol are still working out what their hearings will look like. The first hearing is already set. It's for June 9th. It'll be an overview of the panel's 10-month investigation. Sources say, though, there's been talk about outlining what the president, uh, then-president Donald Trump, was doing when the riot started. His claims about election fraud, how police responded, and a review of how the uprising was organized and financed. A number of people who were interviewed say they expect to be called in to testify. In Florida, one year after the condo collapse in Surfside, families and survivors will receive a nearly $1 billion settlement. That number even shocking the judge in the deal. It is still pending final approval. The settlement involves insurance companies, developers of an adjacent building, and other defendants. 98 people died in the collapse. In California, a federal appeals court struck down a law prohibiting sales of semi-automatic firearms to anyone under 21 years of age. The law, which had been in effect since July 1st of 2021, also restricted purchases of semi-automatic weapons to one per month for all ages. The judge says the law infringed on the Second Amendment rights of those ages 18 to 21. 609 now, coming up, relief for families with some solutions coming for the baby formula shortage. And I'm Josh Pryder live in the 608 with the Stoughton High School Norwegian dancers ahead of the Set and Demai Festival happening this weekend when we come back. Stick around.
Big Memorial Day savings start now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 40% off doorbusters and special buys. Plus, get special no-interest financing for 12 months. And it's starting right now at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away, as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. Breakfast sounds better together, doesn't it? Make it even more special with the hazelnut and cocoa taste of Nutella. Nutella, wake up to wow. How do you use your energy? drive to deliver hope for neighbors in need. At Alliant Energy, we're creating more clean, renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Hi, I'm Kylie, and I make fresh, delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Uh, hi, I'm Zach, and I make the Papa Murphy's pizza. Sure, that's cake and bake. We built it with the freshest ingredients. You bake it fresh in your oven. By you, you mean me, so technically, I make the pizza. Super good pizza, Kylie. Oh, Kylie, so good. At Papa Murphy's, we make great pizza, so you can make the pizza great. Oh, yeah, I make the pizza great. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Violent and destructive riots in Kenosha. The Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. Record high homicides in Milwaukee. From defunding our police to releasing violent felons with low or no bail. Liberal Democrats have created the worst crime wave in decades. Senator Ron Johnson is standing with our brave law enforcement officers to keep Wisconsin families safe. And he wants to keep violent criminals behind bars where they belong. I'm Ron Johnson and I approve this message. The savings do not get better than this. Ashley's Memorial Day sale starts now. Holiday doorbusters are up to 64% off, plus up to an additional 10% off at checkout. Furnish entire rooms for only $14 per month and special financing for 60 months, starting right now. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. We're in the 608 this morning to help kick off the Sent to My Festival in Stoughton. That's where Josh Breider's hanging out this morning. He's with the Stoughton Norwegian Dancers. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Boy, we've got a treat for you on this Thursday morning. We are with the Soton High School Norwegian Dancers here in the high school gym, and this is pretty incredible. They are ready for their biggest weekend of the year, of, of course, Set and Amai here in Soton this weekend, and their per first performances are later today. Uh, we're going to speak to a couple of the dancers here this morning. We've got Peyton, Landon, and Elise all lined up for us. And Peyton, you know, tell me a little bit about what got you wanting to be part of this dancing. Um, so it's a really traditional thing in Stoughton to be a Norwegian dancer, so that was definitely a big part of it. I feel like it's kind of just something I've grown up with. All of us have grown up seeing them perform, watching them at our schools, so I definitely just kind of wanted to join and be part of that and bring joy to other people. You know, Landon, what are some of the most exciting factors for you about being a part of this? Most exciting factors are getting to dance with the kids at the elementary schools, going to nursing homes, and dancing with the old people, and these are, like Peyton said, traditional dances, so they get to see kind of like the traditional folk dances that they used to do in the past, because a lot of them are alumni here growing up in Stoughton. Elise, what is your favorite part about being a part of this? My favorite part is truly uh, performing for the little kids and seeing the joy in their face when we do something really cool or whatever, and they just get so excited, and it's super awesome to see them get so happy. You know, talk a little bit about the performance that they're doing right now. 
Yes, so right now they're performing one of our more like traditional dances. It's called um, Rylander. So this is one of the first ones we actually learned as a group. Um, it's a very old dance, obviously, but it has three kind of distinct sections, which is really cool. And Landon, you know, obviously you guys are all dressed up for this. You know, talk a little bit about the costumes and themselves. So for the guys, we have these um, all identical boonads, the red and green vests. We have our tassels. Um, we got our nice black old traditional shoes and our whites that we all wear. And for the girls, they all have their individual boonads that sets them apart. Yeah, looking good. And Elise, you know, today's your big day or your know, first of the big weekend here. When can people come check you guys out? Um, so today we'll be at the Capitol um, this afternoon, and on Saturday we'll have three performances, and on Sunday we'll have our final performance ever. So it's super exciting. Yeah, big weekend for you guys. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And if you guys want to learn more, you can go to channel3000.com. Of course, we've got the schedule with all of their performances for the weekend up right now. All right, Josh, thanks for showing us. Appreciate it. That is so cool. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. Quarter after 6 o'clock, Dallas checking with Chris Reese and that certified most accurate forecast. Hey there, Chris. Yeah, talking about some more heat and humidity getting ready to come our day, come our way rather, as we look through the coming days. I mean, we have more 90s showing up. I'll tell you though, the system is, there we go. The system froze <laughs> for a moment right as I was trying to get it going. But yes, more 90s are getting ready to come up in our forecast, guys. And it's going to be hot for quite some time today and into tomorrow, producing more chances for showers and thunderstorms, which we are tracking right now, moving through parts of the state, really moving off uh, shore into Lake Michigan right now. But we will stay dry in the meantime before another chance for showers and thunderstorms begins to develop as we start to push towards tomorrow. It is hot and it is humid headed out the door. Temperatures already into the low and mid 70s for some of us. Even upper 70s are showing up around La Crosse this morning. But as we begin to look ahead, we are going to see things continue to warm on up by 12 o'clock. Temperatures will be right around 86 before we make it into the 90s for those highs this afternoon. Our dew points are into the mid 60s already. This is why I say it is all about how muggy it is. 92 is your forecast size. We start to move towards this afternoon as well. And we'll stay sunny today before we start to see our chances for some of those showers and thunderstorms moving into tomorrow. So here's one that I really want to stress, folks, that is check the back seat. This is a new rhythm that really you should always be in, but it's a new rhythm to start to get into, especially as it warms up. Dogs, pets, uh, kids in the back seat, they're very susceptible to the heat, especially when it's 90 degrees outside. You're talking your car being over 130 within an hour. That's just not survivable. We'll start to cool down, though, as we start to move into next week. Temperatures around 70 on Sunday, 60s show up by the time we get you towards the middle of next week. It'll be much more comfortable, lower humidity, just a much better brand of air altogether. All right, Chris Reese, thank you much. To the baby formula shortage now, it could start to ease up over the next few weeks. That's the hope as Abbott Nutrition, which makes a number of popular formulas, looks to reopen its plant in Michigan. It was shut down earlier this year after three brands of baby formula made at the plant were recalled because of potential bacterial infections. Since then, the company says it's been working to improve safety and maintenance protocols and making upgrades to the plant. If the FDA gives the thumbs up, the company says the plant could be up and running within two weeks, so formulas could be back on store shelves in six to eight. Here is something really cool in Rock County. A new Star Wars exhibit's now on display. It's at the Rock County Historical Society in Janesville. The exhibit's titled, The Nostalgia Awakens. It's a collection from Jared Roll. He's a local enthusiast. Uh, the display includes a hundred unique antique, uh, unique action figures, dozens more action figures that uh, populate the vehicles and the play sets, five larger creatures, 19 vehicles, and 13 play sets. A new lineup of Barbie dolls announced this week. Mattel says a number of them emphasize diversity and inclusion. For the first time, this Barbie is wearing hearing aids. Another doll has a prosthetic leg. There's also a new Ken doll with a skin condition. Mattel is also changing the stereotypical Barbie body type that includes smaller chests and fuller figures intended to be more representative of varied body types. Well, check this out. A 228 karat white diamond known as The Rock just sold for $22 million. It was auctioned off in Switzerland yesterday. The sale started at uh, $14 million. 
and then got to that final sale price of $21.8 million. Google introducing a slew of new technologies at its annual developers conference, including the Pixel 7 phone, an Android tablet, and a prototype of Google Glass, its failed eyeglasses. A video showed them translating conversations in real time. That's kind of cool. This version looks more like normal glasses so as not to attract any unwanted attention. And looking ahead, for all Netflix users, a streaming service could start running ads by the end of the year. That's sooner than originally indicated. The New York Times broke the news, citing a recent note to employees. The lower price tier with ads could be here by the last three months of 2022. Netflix has resisted ads for years, but it's now facing more competition and higher subscriber loss. Yeah, we'll see if it's worth it. We'll see if mm -hmm. that does anything for Netflix. Coming up fast. 620 now, the one day you don't want to get stuck on an elevator. Wedding day blues for one couple in our trending story of the day. And with more hot weather today, a refresher on the warning signs you need to know about if you're thinking you need to go to the hospital. That's in our next half hour. Sponsored by RG Heating and Air Conditioning, installing train equipment and servicing all brands. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now, they're sky rizzy. Things are getting clearer. Yeah, I feel free to bend my skin. Yeah, that's on me. Nothing in me go hand in hand. Nothing on my skin. That's my new plan. Nothing is everything. Keep your skin clearer with sky rizzy. Most who achieved 90% clearer skin at four months had lasting clearance through one year. In another study, most people had 90% clearer skin at three years. And Sky Rizzy is four doses a year after two starter doses. It's my moment, so I just gotta say. Nothing is everything. Sky Rizzy may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Before treatment, your doctor should check you for infections and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fevers, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or coughs, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Talk to your dermatologist about SkyRizzy. Learn how Abby could help you say. Here's me, Bob, looking comfy on my Bobapedic Signature Gel Queen mattress. And here's me on a similar mattress I bought from one of the big national brands. Mine is 13 and a half inches thick. Theirs is 10. Mine has a 20-year warranty. Theirs is 10. Mine comes in firm, plush, and half and half. And get this, mine is only $11.99, and theirs is $21.99. Here's me again on my Signature Gel Queen mattress, knowing I made a smart purchase. And here's me on my competitor's mattress, worrying that I overpaid. Get Bob's discount! Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. under $14,995 or $225 per month. Don't miss out on our spring sale with the best selection of SUVs and cars under $14,995 or $225 per month. We have one of the largest selections of vehicles in Dane County with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just come on in and ask for me, Crystal the Pistol, Govan. Go to Govan Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govan. GovanCars.com at Wheatman Lawn Care, we believe that a lush, beautiful lawn should be enjoyed by the whole family. That's why we offer a kid and pet friendly program to create a healthier, greener, weed free lawn that your whole family can enjoy. Our program includes effective applications of targeted weed control and slow release golf course quality fertilizer to achieve real results. Call or click today for your free quote or sign up now and see the Weedman difference. Doesn't your family deserve a Weedman lawn? <laughs> Hey, we want to thank Kevin for sharing this picture with us. This was uh, sunset last night. Really nice rays shining through the clouds there. Missed out on any uh, severe storms uh, that popped up yesterday, Chris, didn't Yeah, we did. Not really a lot going on, uh, at least not here <laughs> compared to some other places, but yeah. it, it has been incredibly hot. Yeah, atmosphere is pretty unstable right now. You've, you've compared it to, what, like a gas can? Yeah, so when you are this hot and humid and you don't have thunderstorms, mm -hmm. all that heat and humidity just builds up energy. So when something does come along, it's typically pretty explosive. You can feel it in the air. It wants yeah. to storm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's just so darn humid out yes. there. <laughs>
Uh, what are we at right now? We were at 75, what, a, we're at about 75 half an hour ago? Still, still 75 this point, degrees so yeah. this morning. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's about as uh, cool as it's going to get today, probably, huh? It is. Yeah, <laughs> goodness. All right, we want to thank Kevin for sharing that with us. 624 now. There are certain things you don't want to be late for, and your wedding is definitely at the top that's, of the list. Yeah, that's right up there, isn't it? Check this out. A California bride was worried that her groom got cold feet. Turned out, though, that Brandon Valdez and his grooms, groomsmen got stuck in an elevator. Made him an hour and a half late for their wedding. Oh, my goodness. Valdez let family and friends know what was going on, but nobody wanted to upset the bride. They say hotel management told them that the elevator problem was out of their hands. They disagree, and they'd like some kind of compensation for the inconvenience. I can't believe that. You can understand that. That'd be a great excuse if you did have cold feet, though. <laughs> the elevator uh, honey, it was the elevator. It was I the swear elevator. I was I'm stuck. sorry. Yeah. I'll be there in a couple years. Never, actually. <laughs> I don't think they're going to let me out. <laughs> I'm dying in the elevator. I'm sorry. I can't get married to you. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah. That sounds like something out of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, but they look happy. They look That's happy, true. and, uh, you know, the, the place should do a little something for them. They really you know, should uh, on their wedding yeah, day. Yeah, they, they should make that right. Oh, they were boy. probably totally. just really happy to get out of that elevator, too. Who wouldn't be? I Especially relief. if it was a day like today. Could you imagine getting stuck in an elevator Yikes. in that this kind of humidity? That didn't have AC, too? Oh, my no, I don't even want to think about that, but it's hot and it is humid and going to school out here is really difficult because a lot of these schools don't have AC right now. Yes. Uh, your bus stop forecast, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> if you're going in because we're going to be into the 80s to around 90 again today and I expect those temperatures to really top or pop off, especially once we get the sun truly up into the late part of this morning. So another hot one, staying humid and no chances for rain to cool you off today either. So our storm chances hold off until tomorrow. Yeah, when I pick the kids up from school at the end of a day like today, they walk outside and they, right away it's just, oh, it's so hot out here. Me and the kids. The yeah. immediate open note. There you go. All right, thanks, Chris. <laughs> Stick around, folks. We'll be back right after this. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When the family can't get enough of your signature dish, get everything you need with Pick and Save Free Pickup with no surprise fees. So start your cart today. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. in life are free. Just wait until he hears about free installation from Feldco. Free installation? Are you kidding me? Yeah! Free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for one year. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends soon. Call now. All quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. This is a town called Basic. Where the townspeople are happy with a basic lifestyle. And that's a 2022 Nissan Altima. With more attitude, more style. And a powerful turbocharged engine to help put basic in your rear view forever. Looks like basic will never be the same. The 2022 Nissan Altima. Anything but basic. Get to Nissan today and test drive the 2022 Altima. With up to 39 miles per gallon highway. What does dry skin feel like? Like it's really scaly. Like a pet lizard. New Dove Body Wash with Microbiome Nutrient Serum transforms the dry skin in one shower. I feel amazing. I feel like put on a really good dress. Your skin is full of life again. <laughs> New Dove Body Wash. Ceiling fans are on sale at Madison Lighting. They're quality fans, built to run, and they're quiet. The experts at Madison Lighting can help you choose a fan that will save energy. Madison Lighting, Watts Road, Madison. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. I just scratch my head over these career politicians. They get in there and they, they, they just never want to leave. I'm going to give this my all for four years, work very hard. I'm going to do it for 
the greater good of all the people of Wisconsin, not to special interests. I think the lobbyists are not going to like me at all. They're going to be very frustrated. I'm not beholden to them. Didn't take any money from them, won't take any money from them. I'm going to do what's right for all the people of Wisconsin. Tim Michaels for governor. Save app, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, all for prices that are lower than low. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Records falling in the heat with more records yet to fall. A new record set yesterday. We'll break down what other records are coming. We're just coming against so many roadblocks that we feel could be prevented. Madison students enduring that heat wave, how they're coping with classroom temps near 90 degrees, and what the district is doing about it. Plus, two kids robbed of their dog at gunpoint in broad daylight, where it happened. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm Chris Stanford. Today is an alert day for that excessive heat, the forecast. Oh, yeah, it could be another record breaker after three days in a row of breaking records, Chris. Yeah, I wonder if I can set a record for how many times I'm saying record at this <laughs> point. This morning. <laughs> and a little bit of a, of a fun one there early on where I was like, record, record, record. But seriously, we broke one Monday, That's Tuesday. The story. Yeah. We broke one yesterday, and we are poised to break one today and again tomorrow. And it's not just the afternoon highs. We've been breaking records in the exactly. morning for how warm it is in the morning what we're waking up to. And some of these records are from the 1800s. 1800s. When, when record keeping began, Again, some of these records are completely falling. So Ooh. it has been a hot and steamy period, my friends, and we're getting ready for more of that. Here's a record from yesterday. We made it to 91, breaking the old record of 85 set back in 2011. But as Leah and I discussed, some of the records that we broke in this week have been from the 90s. Some have been from the... 1890s, even some of the 1880s. It has been hot this week. These are the high temperatures yesterday. 76 was the high in Sheboygan, which feels so nice when you factor in the fact that Boscobel made it to 97. That was three degrees away from 100 for the high in Boscobel yesterday. 91 for Monroe, 95 at Mineral Point. Janesville, Platteville at 93. 91 was our high temperature in Madison, and it is still steamy starting you off on this Thursday. Jane at 73. It's 73 in Mineral Point. 78 and Lacrosse 75 right here in Madison. The dew points are at 69, so already the air is kind of heavy. It's starting to weigh you down as you begin to step on out. The humidity at 82%, and you can see it with the haze that is out there. Our dew points continue to increase into the 70s again, so the air you can wear is going to stick around as temperatures increase into the 90s. That is why your heat index is going to make it into the low 100s today. Once again, we're doing this. Only a couple more days. It starts to get better. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll be into the 90s for the heat index, but then we'll start to see a line of showers and thunderstorms that will move through and eventually cool things off. But we're so hot and so humid that the atmospheric instability is there. We really need to watch those showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. This is 1 o'clock this afternoon. 89. So even by lunch, it's already going to be hot. 92 is where I expect us to top out. This is now tomorrow morning, mid 60s and low 70s again. We'll top out around 90 tomorrow, but you see the showers of thunderstorms starting to develop towards the west by 630. Here's that line of showers of thunderstorms pushing through. Then it'll start to weaken as it starts to move a little bit farther to the east. But we do have a slight risk, level two out of five for severe thunderstorms tomorrow. I'm expecting a a line of storms between 4 and 9 o'clock that'll have strong winds and quarter-sized hail. Your tornado threat, very low as we move towards tomorrow. Wind and hail is going to be the greater concern. 80 on Saturday, 70 on Sunday, 60s, and the days to follow. Ooh, all right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. The heat this week could make anybody irritable, let alone a classroom of kids with no air conditioning. We spoke with teachers at Franklin Elementary School yesterday who said the week had already been hard enough. Inside, they're recording classroom temps as high as 88 degrees, finding it cooler outside sometimes. And it's these conditions they have both teachers and families worried about student learning. To be like, come on, you got this. Like, <laughs> this is how you form these letters. This is what this word is because their needs are in a different place than learning. Teachers said the elementary age students were especially struggling, struggling to keep their masks on in the heat. 
Parents say they also want the school district to do something about it. The planet is getting hotter, so this, this is going to continue to be a growing problem, I think, and hopefully uh, we can find a way to get more money to schools to, to adapt to this sort of thing. Now, the school district tells us leadership is aware of the struggles and is doing all it can to help. Here's a list of some of the steps schools are taking to keep your kids cool. They're rotating students through air-conditioned spaces and offering unlimited water breaks. Staff are also specifically watching students for signs of heat exhaustion, and they're even considering closing schools when there's an excessive heat warning in place. With the unseasonably hot weather this week, SSM Health wants everyone to be aware of heat illness and how to prevent it. Symptoms include dizziness or feeling lightheaded, but feeling weak and tired is the most common symptom. Risks also depend on age and other health factors. Doctors say it's especially important to talk to your kids about what these things might feel like. So this was an ER physician as well as a dad to three kids and in the elementary school. I understand these dynamics. You know, kids tend to um, uh, kind of push through things and they like to, to run around with their friends and, and, and have a lot of fun, but sometimes that they'll be later to recognize those, you know, those symptoms or feel sick from, you know, being overheated. Here's a refresher on how to avoid getting sick in the heat. Drink fluids with electrolytes, stay inside if there's air conditioning, and if you're outside, find a shady spot. And if none of those things cool you down, Foster says, don't hesitate to go to the emergency room. 6.35 now. Everyone is okay and at home this morning after a semi-carrying ethanol crashed and caused evacuations outside Beaver Dam. The crash happened around 9 a.m. yesterday. The driver went into a ditch and tipped over off of U.S. Highway 51. Crews responded by ordering nearby residents to evacuate while they cleaned up. Authorities gave the okay to return home around 7.30 last night. Near this morning, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call says he's tested positive for COVID-19. In a tweet last night, the agency said that Call's symptoms were mild and he will be working from home until his isolation period ends. Madison police say they've arrested a 39-year-old man in possession of child pornography. The arrest happened Tuesday with a number of agencies involved, officials from the Department of Special Victims, Unit, Justice Department agents, SWAT crews, and more all searched his residence near the intersection of East Wilson and South Ingersoll Streets. News 3 Now not naming this man right now as part of our policy not to name people accused of crimes until they've been formally charged. The man is being held in the Dane County Jail. Two kids in Milwaukee had their four-month-old puppy stolen from them at gunpoint. Now they have a message for whoever did it. Can I please have my dog back? Please just give us our dog back. I mean, come on. 10 and 12 years old, the children were walking Coco near 60th and Chambers in the middle of the day when someone pulled out a gun and stole Coco. Milwaukee police say that person stole the dog and then drove off in a 2017 Silver Infinity Q50. Robbing kids at gunpoint. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. My goodness. Financial departments in five states, including Wisconsin, are warning against an online NFT scam backed by a Russian-based organization. That group claims it's selling non-fungible tokens meant to give owners partial ownership of a metaverse casino linked to the Las Vegas brick-and-mortar casino, Flamingo Las Vegas. Officials say that partnership doesn't exist. They also accuse the NFT seller of using a fake office address and phone number. At an Illinois family farm, President Biden blaming the war in Ukraine for tightening grain supplies, driving up global food prices. Grocery prices for meats, poultry, fish, and eggs, they're all up more than 14% from a year ago. Citrus fruit up almost 19%, even though the overall inflation rate slowed slightly. But financial analysts say it's much more complicated, saying COVID lockdowns in China and a delayed supply chain are also still to blame. A lot of this inflation that we're experiencing is rooted on the supply side rather than the demand side. Uh, the Federal Reserve raising interest rates to slow the economy, that will address the demand side, but it won't fix the supply chain. It won't broker peace in Eastern Europe, and it won't open the ports in China. President Biden also spoke about the global impact of the war in Ukraine, saying the country is the sole grain supplier for a number of countries in eastern Africa, including Somalia. Mandatory evacuations are in effect for parts of Orange County, California, after a wildfire suddenly erupted yesterday afternoon. Officials haven't said how it started, but it quickly burned about 200 acres and two dozen homes. Firefighters in Orange County say the drought brought on by climate change is making things worse. Now that drought is causing negative impacts beyond wildfires. CBS's Ben Tracy is tackling the problem of receding water levels. 
A punishing drought here in the West is draining the water supply here at Lake Powell, the nation's second largest reservoir. The water actually used to be all the way up there. This is also threatening the electricity supply for millions of people, but revealing some natural wonders that have not been seen for more than 50 years. That story coming up on CBS Mornings. The time is 639 outside. We are already warm out there in the mid 70s. Coming up, Chris is going to tell us when we'll cool down and time out some weekend storm chances. And on the other side of the country, a deep freeze could impact the wine you buy here in Wisconsin. And we're live in the 608 with the Stoughton High School Norwegian dancers ahead of the Set and Demai Festival happening this weekend. Stick around. It's the Portage Furniture Store's Customer Appreciation Sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home, including all new custom sofas and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's Customer Appreciation Sale going on now. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer... Let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. In Madison, contact Heating and Cooling Incorporated to maximize your comfort and energy savings whatever the season. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. We go through a lot every day, and loose ceramides my barrier needs to seal in moisture. CeraVe facial moisturizers developed with dermatologists continuously deliver three essential ceramides to help restore my protective barrier so I can lock in moisture. With CeraVe, we can feel hydrated and look healthy all day. CeraVe facial moisturizing lotions from the number one dermatologist-recommended skincare brand. your energy, giving back to your community, fueling your drive to deliver hope for neighbors in need. At Alliant Energy, we're creating more clean, renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about a brighter future. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. It's the Portage Furniture Store's Customer Appreciation Sale, on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home, including all new Serta mattresses and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's Customer Appreciation Sale, going on now. News 3 Now is taking action, reaching out to our community to lend a helping hand. Taking action by teaming with our neighbors and local leaders to help make this amazing community we share a better place to live. Taking action for South Central Wisconsin. News 3 Now. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warren Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warren Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. And the 608 this morning, we're helping kick off Set and Demai Festival in Stoughton. That's where we find Josh Breider live this morning with the Stoughton Norwegian Dancers. We've had so much fun this morning, Josh. Oh my gosh, isn't this just a really, really fun time, guys? So this is their biggest weekend of the year. They're getting ready for Set and Demai, which of course is their biggest Norwegian festival. They've been working up until this point all year round. A lot of these folks are seniors, so this is their back last hurrah and we've got a few of those seniors here with us this morning we've got emma courtney and kaden you guys are super super excited this is such a big weekend for you yeah it's a huge weekend it's kind of like we call it our state competition we prepare all year for this big weekend so you know uh emma or uh, courtney tell me a little bit about the performances themselves 
So this weekend we're going to be having three performances on Saturday and one performance on Sunday and they're all going to be different. We're going to be doing different dances at each and our last performance on Saturday is our alumni performance so we'll have an alumni come out and it'll be super fun. So Kaden, you know you're a senior, you've been dancing for a couple of years now, you know what's your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part is probably going to elementary schools and dancing with the kids. That's always rewarding. Dancing for assistant livings, that's fun. And just getting with the group and getting close with everybody, I think that's the most memorable. Emma, tell me about the performance that they're doing behind us right now. They're doing doll dance right now. It's one of our, like, just circle dances, which means everyone dances it. Um, it's one we learn in the beginning of the year just to kind of get us ready to learn the harder dances. And Courtney, I mean, there's a lot of practice early mornings that goes into this, right? Yes, we have practice Monday through Thursday at 6.45 before school, and then we have performances on Wednesdays and Sundays. So, Kaden, if folks are looking to come check out Set and Amai this weekend, why should they come check out your performances? Because we're one of a kind group. And there's no, nobody else that dances, dances like we do, and uh, we work really hard, and uh, this is the last kind of hoorah for the dancers for this year, so come out and we'll have a good time. Well, congratulations to all of you. This is uh, excellent, excellent stuff. So we'll be checking you guys out this weekend. If you want to learn more about the Sorton High School Norwegian dancers, you can go to the story channel 3000com guys. But a lot of talent right here on a Thursday morning inside Stoughton High School. I'm so impressed. Don't you love to hear the kids talk about how much they're into it? I can't get over that. It's so impressive that these kids are so dedicated. I would have been just as dedicated for a polka league. But would, I didn't have the would you have been? Would you have been there at you know five thirty <laughs> in the morning like they were today? It. Maybe thirty-one year old Leah would. Maybe, maybe not. Very impressive. Josh Ryder, thanks for that story this morning. Hey, uh, let Josh you know bet. what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him. He'd love to hear from you. A lot of his ideas come from viewers like you. So find him on social media. He's at Josh Brider TV or email him at in the 608 at wictv.com. Well, a late spring frost in Northern California could have some harmful impacts on wine production in the state. The weather could cost farmers millions of dollars in losses. Looks like someone took a blowtorch to your vineyard. The leaves are all black and brown and just withering away. They will push out new shoots, but your crop on those new shoots is likely to be 25 to 50 percent of what it would have been. Vineyards around Lodi, California, harvest 600,000 tons of wine grapes every year. That's a fifth of California's total production. And the April freeze could ice next year's buds and growth, too, causing millions of dollars of damage to the $300 million economy in the area. Severe storms wreaking havoc on residents in Iowa and Minnesota yesterday. Take a look at some of this remarkable video from the southern part of the state near Mankato. That's where high winds were recorded. Scary stuff there. Closer to the Twin Cities, streets were quickly flooded. Tornado warning, uh, tornado warnings lasted well into the night. This morning, roughly 40,000 people are without power in the area. Yeah, it's pretty bad over there. Here's uh, Chris Reese now to look at if that's going to affect any of us here in southern Wisconsin either, Chris. Yeah, it's no surprise that it was pretty bad over there, that they're without power when you look at the radar loop over the past 18 hours. I mean, this was an intense line of thunderstorms that moved out of the cities, across the St. Croix River Valley, and into parts of the Northwoods in Wisconsin. But as this line came through, at uh, one point or another, Every county across parts of southern Minnesota was under a severe thunderstorm warning or a tornado warning. So those storms packed a punch. And once again, severe weather is going to be possible in that part of the country as we go through today. This is going to be a part of a setup that leads to our own severe weather in Wisconsin. Part of why we have the alert day tomorrow. A level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk from parts of Kansas all the way into Nebraska and the Dakotas. This region... I-29 will likely be the hardest hit overnight tonight. Then we'll start to see another line form towards Friday. That is where we have to watch for the potential of high wind and hail. After Friday, we move towards Saturday. There's still going to be a chance that we see some thunderstorms, but there's just a low risk for those to be on the stronger side. I want to show you future track. Here's how this may begin to play out. This is I-29 tonight. Look at that line. This is going to produce some big time damaging winds and hail as it moves on through. That line begins to weaken as it approaches the cities. They probably need a break after last night. But then watch how another line develops tomorrow afternoon and evening. This is the one that we need to watch across southern Wisconsin. That could pack a punch tomorrow afternoon, too. All right, Chris Reese, tracking it all for us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up in the morning sprint, why a Madison group wants the Dane County DA to resign.
First, though, if you got a little kid out turning three soon, let us know so we can show their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. The best mattress deals in Wisconsin start now at Ashley. This Memorial Day, save $1,000 on Sealy and Serta. Save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic. Plus, get $300 in free furniture. Doorbusters up to 60% off. And special financing for 60 months, starting right now. Some numbers are thrilling. Some impressive. Some just right. After an accident, there's one critical number. The number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. No other personal injury law firm is better suited to get the amount that's right for you. Culver's couldn't have started anywhere but in Sauk City, Wisconsin. Still today, we are a family restaurant. Here, nearby farms grow the food we eat, smiles are contagious, and everyone is someone's neighbor. It's a place where our love of fresh food is as strong as our love for each other. It's a feeling of welcome you'll notice the moment you stop by. Because where we come from has made us who we are, and for that, we couldn't be more proud. Welcome to Delicious. Now's the time to get a Ford built for you by you. Pick your color, your wheels, and other available features specifically designed for your Ford. Want an F-150 with a 12-inch touchscreen, 400 horsepower in an Explorer, or a moonroof? You've got it. And now an additional 1,000 bonus cash on top of all public offers. See your dealer for a Ford built for you, by you. Build and order your select Ford today and get 1,000 bonus cash in addition to all public offers. A million dollars worth of the best hot tubs in Madison are at Leisure Concepts. And right now, get immediate free delivery, free ozone system, cover lift, matching entry steps, supplies, and training. Our showroom is packed with brand new hot tubs for immediate delivery. We're including everything you need and all at a great low spring price. Leisure Concepts is open seven days a week. Stop into our packed showroom in Madison on the Beltline at the Park Street exit. The youth of Dane County deserve a better future, and we want to give it to them. Join News 3 Now's Leah Lindscheid and the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County, Friday, May 20th, for the Hearts for Helping Paint the Town event. This colorful fundraiser is a fun-filled night with games, dinner, a live auction, and more. We would love to have you attend, participate, or support to help us paint the town with our Hearts for Helping 2022 event. The savings do not get better than this. Ashley's Memorial Day sale starts now. Holiday doorbusters are up to 64% off, plus up to an additional 10% off at checkout. Furnish entire rooms for only $14 per month and special financing for 60 months, starting right now. Here for you in a heartbeat. SSM Health Heart and Vascular Care. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. We start with an alert day for your Thursday with some more record-breaking heat. Straight over to Chris Reese with all the details. Chris. Record-breaking heat and the chance to see some strong thunderstorms. Two alert days. One today, that one's for the heat. One tomorrow for the severe weather, but it's already warm as you step outside now. 75. The humidity at 82%. You can literally see the haze in the atmosphere there. Temperatures over the next 12 hours are going to be warming up from the 70s and into the 90s. But that overall comes with sunshine throughout today. All right, Chris, thank you. Chancellor Becky Blank starting to wrap up her time at UW-Madison as she prepares to leave for Northwestern. Her last day as chancellor is May 27th, but she held her final media briefing yesterday. Blank came to UW after a year as acting Secretary of Commerce in the Obama administration. During her nine years at UW-Madison, she set in motion a series of building projects, including a new home for the College of Letters and Sciences. Senate Democrats failed in their efforts to advance a bill aimed at guaranteeing abortion nationwide. One Democrat, West Virginia's Joe Manchin, sided with Republicans in blocking the legislation from going to vote. Calls for federal legislation have grown more urgent following last week's release of a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion. It signals the court may be poised to overturn Roe v. Wade after almost half a century.
The Madison Group Freedom Inc. is calling for the Dane County District Attorney to resign. This comes after activist Jessica Williams was arrested as she entered the courthouse last Friday to attend a sentencing hearing for someone else. She claimed Ishmael Ozan was using manipulative tactics to drive their movement apart. Ozan said in an email to News 3 that the matter is not being handled by the Dane County DA's office. Bush Light announcing a new limited edition for the Farmers beer can. The initiative is in collaboration with John Deere. A portion of the proceeds will go to benefit Farm Rescue, a nonprofit that provides critical material aid to family farms. The Brewers finishing up their series against the Reds with a loss, but Yelich coming away with some new bragging rights. By the second inning, they were down 7-0, to zero, but were able to battle back just to fall short, 14-11. to 11. Yelich hit for the cycle, meaning he hit a home run, a triple, a double, and a single, all in the same game. He's the sixth player to do it at least three times. Saudi Arabia oil giant. Aramco is now the world's most valuable firm, overtaking Apple. Aramco is valued at $2.4 trillion, slightly more than Apple. The switch comes as energy stocks have soared in recent weeks, while tech stocks have led the sell-off. Today is National Fibromyalgia Awareness Day. The day aims to put a spotlight on the musculoskeletal syndrome that more than 12 million Americans are battling. It has a range of symptoms, including pain all over the body, numbness, and incapacitating fatigue. There's no cure, but there are treatments and therapies to try to ease symptoms. In Texas, at least 16 people on board this United flight skidded off the runway yesterday. It happened at Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston. According to airport officials, the plane uh, ended up in a grassy field near a construction site, and everyone is okay. The Volkswagen Scout, a one-time competitor to the Ford Bronco and the Jeep that was last sold more than four decades ago, is being resurrected in all-electric. The Scout will be available as an off-road electric truck and SUV. They're expected to go on sale around 2026. Used car retailer Carvana says it's laying off 2,500 employees. That's more than 10% of its workforce. The Arizona-based company reported a $506 million loss in its first quarter. Carvana sells cars online and has a network of vehicle vending machines where customers can pick up their cars or have them delivered. And we do have the chance for severe weather as we move into your Friday afternoon and evening. A slight risk, level 2 out of 5 in that yellow. That includes all of us, which is why tomorrow's an alert day as well. I'm expecting a line of strong storms between 4 and 9 o'clock with high winds and quarter-sized hail. Your tornado threat is really on the lower side tomorrow. But wind and hail, we definitely need to be on the lookout. 90 for your Friday. Here's that line of thunderstorms developing into the afternoon and evening. And that line will begin to weaken as it begins to move a little bit farther towards the east. You continue to look ahead, and we will eventually cool down. 80 on Saturday, 70 on Sunday, 60s, and a breath of fresh air with low humidity arrives into next week. All right, man, uh, just keep them breaking those records, huh? That is what we're doing. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Stay with News 3 now and Channel3000.com for the latest on that forecast, folks. Stay cool.